on our LinkedIn company pages, we have the ability to show the employees who work for our company. However, there are three types of employees who show up on our company pages that we may not want others to see. The first is ex-employees. We would like employees who have moved along to, uh, to remove uh, themselves, mark themselves as they have ended their role at our job. So they don't show up as an employee anymore. The second type of employee who shows up on our LinkedIn pages are squatters. Typically, these are fakes who are uh, selecting a, a big name company to, uh, to pro try to legitimize their LinkedIn profile and they don't belong on there as well. And there's a third type as well, and they could be squatters, but these are uh, LinkedIn members that we cannot see. So we can't see their profile or their LinkedIn profile URL. I recommend that you process ex-employees, squatters, and these fakes who we can't see their profile. You, you process those differently because those are different scenarios. Let's talk about ex-employees first. I'm going to use the company. Keller Williams is an example. I don't know if anybody at Keller Williams, but there's 109,000 people. And if I go look knee deep into their company, I'm going to use the uh, uh, John Floor as an example. I do not know John Floor. For all I know, he works for the company. This is only a scenario. I'm not calling out John Floor. But let's say he does not belong. At, he's no longer an employee of the company. Now, here's how you do this. Here's the help document remove people from LinkedIn page. On that help document is a contact us uh, URL. When you go there, you get this. Let us know about inaccurate information. This is what you're going to need to fill out. But before you fill this out, you very deliberately, I recommend that you contact John Floor. If you know him, if he used to work for the company, which is the scenario I'm talking about, then you want to email him, call him, send him a text message, or send him a LinkedIn message and ask him, John, please update your LinkedIn profile and mark yourself as no longer working for my company. That's very intentional, and I urge you to do that before you do the next step. The next step is this. You, you get his LinkedIn profile URL. I'm not going to show you on his profile. On my profile, it's the URL that's in the address bar when you're looking at my profile. Or it's under contact information, and it's right here. Get that and copy it. Now, go back to this form, and in this form, you're going to paste that URL. Now, if you have multiple ex-employees, then I recommend you put a comma space and you paste another URL for another ex-employee. Now, you want to put the URL to your company page. I'll go get mine, so I'm not always picking on uh, another company. Here's mine right here. I'm going to view as member. I'm going to get this right here. I'm going to copy the URL to my company page right there. Copy that and go back to this form and paste that here. Now, if you're processing ex-employees, then you need to say yes. You need to be transparent about this. Remember, you've also already called, emailed, text, or LinkedIn messaged this person and asked them, given them a week or so, to have them remove themselves from your company page. But they haven't done it. Now, you need to say when did the employee work for your company. So put the enter, please enter dates in month, month, day, day, for, year format. If you don't know the dates, then you can say unknown. Please enter dates of employment. So you know this guy worked for you up until, pick a day, 12-1-2023. Whatever is appropriate. That might be the date they left. Now, next thing you do is you very clearly, in a business statement, tell the LinkedIn support how this person is inaccurately representing themselves. Very deliberately. Whatever the statement is that you want to use, but it needs to be a business statement. It doesn't be not an emotional, not I wish this guy would go away statement, but a business statement. 
And once you've typed that in there, now you want to, you need to put your name, and this is where you basically are digitally signing it, saying that you have the ability to do this, that you represent the company, and what you're saying above is accurate to the best of your ability. And once you've done that, you hit submit. And once you do that, you, you close that tab, and you come back here, and you right click, open in a new tab, and you do the next set of employees. Now the next set of employees that are shown up on your company page are squatters. These are people who have never been associated with your company. So what you do here is the same thing. You get their LinkedIn profile URL, you paste their URL here, it's asking what's the name of the school. Go ahead and post the URL. If you want to, you can also you know, write the legitimate name, in this case, Burris Consulting, Inc. I didn't show this example in the previous idea. And then, was this reported member or members previously employed? These are squatters. The answer is no. And then what you can say here, these LinkedIn members have never worked for my organization and they are distracting my clients from our subject matter experts. Very purposeful business statement here. After you put that in there, put your full name. This again is a digital signature that what you have the, the authority to do this work and you have also, to the best of your uh, knowledge, this is legitimate and accurate information. Fill that out completely and hit submit. Let's talk about the third scenario. The third scenario is LinkedIn members who have not built their profile out and or who are uh, third level or, or uh, outside of your network and you can't see their profiles at all. These LinkedIn profiles can also distract your target audience, your clients from your subject matter experts. So I recommend report these as well. However, you do not have the ability to tell LinkedIn the profile URL. What you're gonna have to do, which is something I have never done before, is I recommend use the same form and then list in here third level LinkedIn members that I cannot view even as an admin of my own LinkedIn company page. And you might go ahead if you have dozens or hundreds, then you might want to say dozens so that LinkedIn sees that it's a significant number, if it is. What's the name of the school? Remember, this, was, this one here is Firestone. And I could put the URL to Firestone's company page as well. You, if, if, if you cannot see them, so you have to go under the assumption they are never been LinkedIn, uh, excuse me, never been employees. So you can say no. Then again, I recommend you tell LinkedIn the business statement of why you want these removed. Very deliberate business statement is what I recommend you put there. Put something that's appropriate for you. Don't necessarily use my words unless my words are in fact appropriate. And then sign it and then hit submit. Again, you're gonna get a slightly different response from LinkedIn this time because they're not gonna be able to process these, but hopefully it opens a dialogue with LinkedIn support that can help you get those uh, third level out of network potentially fake members off of your LinkedIn company page. Three scenarios, ex-employees, squatters that you know do not belong there, and then third level uh, non-visible LinkedIn members that are just all are distracting your clients, your prospects from the subject matter experts who work for your company.